Jake sounds like without the book Buxom Boost, um, and I have a picture of the settings. And that's with the gain at around noon. And this is with the EQ engaged on the Buxom Boost, and almost everything's at noon. I actually have the bass and the tight a little over noon. This is with the Buxom. to the Tumnus, which you're welcome, Brian Wampler. You probably sold a lot of these because of my, some of my videos, maybe a few. But um, this is way more EQ possibilities. The tight switch is amazing because I'm gonna turn the tight all the way down on the Buxom Boost, and you can hear how flubby the amp can sound. <laughs> but I use it around noon for now. I mean, I'm literally 10 minutes into this pedal with this setup. Bring the tight back to about noon. For me, it's a little bit bright, there's a lot of gain, but that's okay. Now, I just brought channel one's gain up to about two o'clock. Now, in the room, it sounds really good, but live that might be a little bit too much gain, and in the video, you might hear it is too much. But in any case, I wanted to provide this video because, as far as I know, there are no videos showing this Buxom, how it can boost uh, the Jakey Lee 20 watt head. And I love using that Plexi channel for some of those types of rhythm, that kind of ACDC on steroids. Yeah, it's a little more gain, but it totally works uh, for me. And it gives you that just, you know, balls to the wall Plexi sound. And then you still got channel two, which is here. <laughs> channel and a dedicated lead sound um so yeah this pedal is a keeper and a great pairing for the jakey lead Where you can hear the distinction of the notes <laughs> Right now, 
the Buxom Boost is going to do a great job. It has a really wide range of EQing. Um, those of you that have it, uh, you know that. One thing I would say is there's some really fine line interaction between the Jakey Lee has a presence on the back, which I ended up bringing that down. At the beginning of the video, it was kind of at noon. Um, again, this room, I'm gonna EQ it differently when I go out and play. I feel like it has a broader, more raw kind of sound than the um, Wampler Tumnus can tend to have this kind of narrow, um, really, upper end spiky mids which works to cut but it can be a little bit over the top and on the mini you only have the treble um, eq like a regular clon um, but anyways this seems to pair well there was another pedal that karma mt and 10 that for whatever reason it did not pair well with the Jakey Lee, but it pairs beautifully with the Wizard, and I actually use it in the front of my FM3 Fractal, which I'm going to use New Year's Eve because I've got a great preset dialed and I don't feel like taking a half stack in there. The other thing that I'm really going through in my mind is I usually take a 412 cab out to the gigs, and what happens is you guys who play with a 412 cab know you have to turn it up pretty good. And so you end up with this very narrow, super loud, beaming volume. You get dancers up. Well, first of all, you can't be in the house as much if you're that loud, depending on how size, how big the venue is. Um, so, you know, with either turning it, I know people have put shields in front of it, turn it backwards. Those are all solutions to actually not have it be so beaming here, but then you can't hear it over here. Um, and the, the sound guy is not going to put you in the house as much. So, you know, I'm still playing with with how to manage that because I listen back some of our live mixes and um, it the, the guitar could be more prominent based on where the camera is and if there's people in front or whatever. So those are just things I'm kind of wrestling with in my mind. Um, chime in below if you found some good solutions.